Hey guys, I'm LB, and things aren't always black and white. Unless you're dealing with Deathwish 808's level title as black and white, in which case they are. And in case you don't know who Deathwish 808 is, he's the guy with over 10,000 hours in Portal 2, but most of those hours are spent waiting for his queue to load, because even if he only has 3 items in his queue, the game also loads all the items you've ever played, and it's really unoptimized, and it takes a very long time. Hello. Okay, let's see, what do we got going on here? A light bridge. What for? Interesting. Oh! That one goes over! Wait, let me double check that. So, wait, are there even any portal surfaces here? Oh my gosh, what?! That's such a troll, why are those walls even... Why are those walls even... Is that just so you can't put gel on them? But, what? Why is there glass on portal of the walls? That doesn't make any sense. Wait, what is this? Oh, that does that in there. Okay, what does this button do? <laughs> okay, so that's what that's for. Mm-hmm. Now what? Did this also do... Okay, oh, oh, so, I see. So this does that sizzler back there. Seriously, what is the point of this? Okay, that button turns- okay. The one thing I have not interacted with yet. Glass on this side. Black and white. That, 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 the name of the map. Black and white. Perhaps, black and white is the name of the map. Yeah, that doesn't actually send me over, it just sends me high enough to grab something without it fizzling.
Not sure what good that would do me anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. I like how it makes a splash right as it disintegrates. That is... quite interesting. Square? What? Wait, so this turns off the light bridge? Why? I'm pretty confused about this. Yeah, I was thinking I could maybe grab it and then toss it immediately to that side. But... that's not sounding so doable. That was a miserable failure. Downward toss is no go. Like, what's the purpose of that? I don't understand that. Just so you can see the cube dropper? Or something? Come on, that is so close. That sounds right, doesn't it? Oh, come on! Thought I jumped over it. Oh, wow. What even happened there? I stopped, like, in mid-air, or something. Hey! 
Hey! I did it! I did it. Awesome. Okay. How does one press that button? Like that, I guess. Mm-hmm. That's not exactly ideal, though. Yeah, that happens way too quick. I can't really do the same trick. It didn't really seem to happen on its own, right? Yeah, so it'll land there on its own. But then... Oh, well, this is quite precarious. Yeah, that is not... that is not gonna work. Oh wow, I balanced it right on the edge. Amazing. Now how am I gonna pull this off? So, that button will turn off the light bridge. So it's like I'm supposed to have it against this button, turning off the fizzler, then I take that cube and move it there, and it falls into position, right? But the question is, how do I do that?
Even if I were to do some crazy juggling nonsense to get the cube into this position while I'm on that side... This is not making very much sense to me. Like... It's like I have to push the cube here myself, cause just lifting it up doesn't really... do what it needs to do. I don't think that would work anyway. Like, how would I even get it into that position in the first place? Oh yeah, it's not even... It doesn't even want to stay. Oh, now it stays! Chances of me doing that from that side are zero. I don't know what to do. Even if I swapped the cubes, that wouldn't really help. And then if I got both cubes over here, again, that wouldn't really help. If I move this to the other button, that wouldn't really help. Yeah, that just makes the problem worse. Or does it? So if I pull this off again, I should... yeah. Okay, how do I get this thing to orient itself the right way? Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. No, is it, is it... Oh! 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 Yes! Yes! I think I've done it.
What was even that for? What was that even for? Oh, wait, but no, how do I... Mm-hmm... Well... Oh, no, wait, this isn't keeping it suspended, duh. Oh. Well, that works. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what I did there, but apparently it cleared itself for me. As always, thank you for watching, and if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs> the ampersand turned into an underline, that's hilarious, that is... Okay, I know what that's for. Uh, so in Windows, when you put an ampersand in a string that's going to be displayed in a menu or something, it puts an underline under the letter after it. And, uh, I think that's what they were trying to go for here in this menu, but, yeah, that's- that's only for pressing that letter to, uh, to do something. This game is buggy. Anyway, thanks for watching, and goodbye!